For the blind, the challenge is aptitude and concentration. We have to listen to the opposite team, to our staff coach. We have to imagine where we are and where our friends are. Prakong Buiai is the captain of Thailand's blind national soccer team. I started soccer when I was a kid, playing with my friends, just like any usual game, but sometimes putting the ball in a plastic bag. When I heard there were national team tryouts, I went there for the first time as a freshman, and I kept being selected. Buiai's team hadn't originally qualified for the Tokyo 2020 Paralympics, but was next in line after Iran pulled out. At first, I thought my friend was lying. I thought it was unreal. But after I heard it from the association and the coach, I was super, super happy. It is my ultimate dream. The team hasn't been home in months, training at a centre in Bangkok during the pandemic. We let the staff coach take our players out if really necessary. But they have each other. We love and take care of one another in the team. Our staff coach also takes care of us like one of their children. Each blind soccer team has four outfield players who must be classified as completely blind. And one goalkeeper who must be sighted or partially sighted. In blind soccer, when we attack each other, the players need to shout, Voy, Voy! And we use a ball that makes a sound so that blind players can hear the rattling sound. Boy, I love the sport. I like Brazilian players. In Spanish, I like Ian Esther. His other passion is teaching blind kids. I was born blind. I could see a little, but I believe during the age of three to five, I totally lost my eyesight. I've been living with that and have adapted myself to it. We can't see colours, we can't see stuff, but we can live just like usual. Going to the Paralympics is a dream come true for each member of the team. We are last in the rank, but I think we're second to none. Our players are confident and we're practicing a lot. I'll keep my fingers crossed that we win a medal. We can fall today, but we can rise again tomorrow. It must be a day that is our day.